Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, we've got a new vintage collection figure for you right here today. It is Han Solo from Return of the Jedi. Nice looking card. Um, yeah, finally decided to pick this one up. Checking out a couple of reviews. Uh, watched uh, Middle Age Kiwi Man collecting Star Wars figures review uh, last week and I thought, yeah, it's time to get this guy. Um, VC281. You can see there, it won't fit in the frame otherwise, and from back there you can probably barely see it. Um, have done a review on Darth Vader, uh, the Tusken Warrior, I did the version with the Massif. Uh, Clone Captain Hauser, still tossing up that one. Cassian, I think I'm going to pass on, um, even though it looks really good. That, that's one that will tempt me. Clone Trooper, I'm going to pass on. Weak Way, I'm going to pass on. Hunter, I'm at the moment going to pass on, but, you know, could be tempted. Um, yeah, just for... Just for reasons of being picky and selective with the prices these days, and I'd rather get the the Black Series version of the Cassian. Um, and Hunter, I've just bought the rest of the Bad Batch in Black Series in their Season 2 outfits, so that's enough Bad Batch. I'm, if I find it cheaper, I might just get it and poke it away somewhere, um, and then get them all out when they do the whole batch. But we're here to talk about Han Solo, Return of the Jedi. Oh, interestingly, the, uh, the card art here, great shot of Harrison Ford. Uh, this is from a deleted scene where the rebels sort of infiltrate the bunker, uh, sort of in between, you know, where they break in and where they go into the uh, the main sort of chamber there. Um, so it was a cool, cool looking deleted scene. Definitely go check it out. Uh, interesting, just an interesting uh, choice for the for the time for the photo, really. Um, but it is it's a great shot of Harrison there. Awesome, love it. So. Um, yeah, let's crack him open and take a look. We're just going to go rip off that band-aid. Put the card aside. We'll get rid of all this junk. So, yeah, my intention for this review is to do a little bit of a comparison uh, with the previous release of Return of the Jedi Han Solo. But we will take a look at this first. And we'll uh, then we'll do the comparison. Comparison Ford, if you will. <laughs> so yeah, he does come with his blaster pistol here. It's, you know, kind of small. I don't know, it's, they kind of feel like they're smaller than they've been, but that's just because I uh, just did a review on the Power of the Force. Endor Han Solo. Yeah, that will fit nicely in his holster there. It actually holds up quite nice. Now, one thing I'll point out here is that the legs are a reuse from the solo Han Solo, the younger sort of Han, um, and that works for the most part. I feel like, in comparison with the rest of the figure, they're probably, they feel a little bit short. Just a little bit. I'm not sure what it is. Just the rest of the figure, like... I feel like the head is a good good size for the body. I just feel like the legs are a little bit misproportioned. But otherwise, not too bad. Now the head sculpt seems to be the, the issue most people have with this figure. It's, a, it's just not quite 100%. And then we get my camera to focus, that'd be fantastic. There we go, we'll get a closer look. I don't know. I think it's just the hair, to be honest. I don't think it's uh, a little bit more sort of hang down in front of the face, a little bit more, a little bit less forehead, sort of. It's just a little bit like a. It's a, it's a bit of a blank, blank sort of expression. It's you know Harrison's quite known for you know you know that <laughs> he's quite animated, uh, sort of sort of person when it comes to his acting it's uh but i don't i don't think this is the worst by any stretch i don't think it's bad what i do love about this figure is you know underneath the vest they've gone with a sort of a cream look to the to the shirt to the sleeved shirt rather than the white and that's a nice change i, I do i do like that i appreciate that articulation seems to be pretty good and uh, yeah, we, we know the legs are a reuse. But yeah, I just feel like they could, they could stand to be just a little bit bigger. So maybe there's, 
another figure out there. So yeah, let's get into the uh, comparison forward. Now this is the, the most recent vintage collection sort of re-release. This is the, uh, now how old is this figure now? This is uh, 2000 and 2004. So this is nearly a 20 year old figure, uh, this one. So obviously got the photo reel, update on the face. And if this hair was a little bit more like on this figure, I think that would be a sort of a nicer, nicer medium. I don't know, what do you guys think? But yeah, obviously this one, very outdated now. So he will be getting swapped out because I think this this new Han Solo will look good on the uh, with the trench coat. And if you see what I mean with the pants, so even this one, he's a you know this one's very misproportioned. It's a it's a twenty year old figure, so you can't can't blame them for that. But um, yeah, he just he could just feel to just be a little bit tall. I wonder if it's worth swapping out those legs. I'll tell you what, I'm actually going to give it a shot. Swapping out from the knees down. There's just a little bit more height in there. I'm actually going to give that a shot, guys. Um, yeah, I know the, the yellow stripe on the side isn't as nice on this one. But, you know, like a, little, a few little pen marks just to hide that might be okay. And I know you're going to sort of lose the sculpted detail in these legs. But I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm definitely going to give that a shot. I just feel like this guy could, this one could stand to be a little bit taller. Um, but let's put the coat on him anyway. And see how he looks. Because I reckon this will absolutely make this figure if, you, if they had included this. But I know they wanted to put out a new card. So and that's fine too. Um... Look at that. No, it's not quite on properly, but we'll get there. That actually looks pretty solid. Now my, my sort of comment that I posted on um, Jason, um, middle-aged Kiwi man's review is that, you know, with the trench coat, his head and to sort of torso that looks a little bit big may sort of look good with the uh, trench coat, you know, to sort of bring out that sort of width of width of the figure um, with the legs underneath and I think it does I think that's a good look I think I'm gonna keep him this way I think Han deserves the trench coat and uh, yeah, I think that's I think that actually looks pretty good I'm, I'm very very happy with that but yeah two very very different figures um, you know, I'm going to readjust between this one and my sail barge Han that I have on the skiff and see what I can amalgamate between the two, between this one and that one. Um, so while I'm here, I'm just going to pause it. I'm going to go grab that last last Han. All right, so I've got the, uh, the other Han Solo here and this one itself is an amalgamation, a bit of a kit bash of a couple of different Han Solos. Obviously the head sculpt's nice. Um, obviously it doesn't have the sort of photo reel update where these two have, but I think it's okay. I don't think it's too bad. You still got the sort of the dirty shirt, the sort of slight tan, whereas this one is very, very white and clean. So yeah, I'm interested, sort of definitely gonna play around with these two a little bit and see if I can get a better version for the sail barge. I don't know that there is a better version, I think. I might already have it. Because I think I, I think I like this version pretty good. I think it's it's nice. It's not too bad. So yeah, I'm I'm not sure. I'm gonna have a play around. But yeah, the articulation on the new Han Solo this is the one we're talking about, VC two eight one. I remembered. How good is that? So yeah, he does have the ball jointed head, a ball hinge in the shoulders and, and elbows, uh, ball hinge in the wrists. It's, uh, the, this one goes up and down, this one goes in and out. 
it does have that sort of upper torso joint there, which uh, no, a lot of people aren't too fond of, but I don't, it doesn't bother me. I don't sort of take anything away from that. Uh, ball joints in the hips, swivels at the thighs, uh, joints in the knees and ankles. So overall pretty good articulation. Nothing wrong with that at all. But yeah, I'm, I'm digging in with the coat. I'm just gonna, just gonna throw it out there and let people ask, ask you guys what you think. A bit of an upgrade for this guy here, this you know near 20 year old figure. Um, what year is this one here? I've got blue tack on his feet. So this one was 2014. 2014. I'm struggling to remember where this one actually came out in. But again, I think I've given him a different head to what he came with. This may have been the carbonite one. I'm, yeah, I can't, I'm not remembering, but if anyone else remembers, remind me, let me know. But um, yeah, that's the one I use on the skiff. So there we have Han Solo. I hope you've enjoyed this one, guys. This is, uh, I'm really happy with the trench coat. I, I just really dig it. I, I can't wait to sort of swap the legs over and uh, from the knee down and and have a look and see see how it turns out all right folks so i actually went ahead and did the swap so i'm just going to intersect this footage uh in the middle of the of the review here so yeah i all i had to do once i took the uh bottom half of the legs from the other hand solo just had to trim the peg down a little bit because there were there were slightly bigger pegs than what came on this figure so you can sort of see there you know quite small the other ones were a little bit longer so just to make room for those pegs in the uh in the thigh there i just had to trim them down a little bit but overall oh, i'm much happier with this guy he's uh much much taller he looks a better scale um with his legs not being as short and stocky as they previously were um so yeah a little bit taller which is which is great. It's really good. I'm I'm really really happy with that. And now we have this Han Solo here, who is uh he's ready for a starring role in the next Lord of the Rings film as Legolas. I'll just hold for applause there for for five minutes or so. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> no, I'm I'm stoked with how this has turned out. This has uh, become a really nice Han Solo figure. And yeah, not even bothered about the, the not lining up with the lines there. If I get too, you know, funny about it, I can just, you know, just probably scratch some of that yellow paint off in little lines or something. But, you know, once the trench coat's on him, it's you, it's not going to be visible. So I'm very, very pleased with how this has turned out. I'm really glad I was able to pick this figure up. Um, it's a good one. Definitely recommend it if you have that previous VOTC, I think it was, Vintage Original Trilogy Collection from back in the day, 2014, 2004, that's how old that thing was. And yeah, it looks even better now with the trench coat, fantastic stuff. Anyway, let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll cut back to my original outro. So thanks for tuning in guys, appreciate your time, you're always fantastic. And uh, yeah, we'll see you again for some more reviews very, very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.